Good morning. Go ahead and come on in. Any level to your left behind the brown railings. Come on in. Any level to your left behind the brown railings. If you're taking the ramp, just turn the first opening. Excited to have you. My name is Andy. I'm one of many educators that you'll find throughout your visit today. Now, if you did grab one of those green brochures on your way in today, there's a very helpful map. I'm going to point out some reference, reference points for you. The pool in front of you here, this is our main pool. Really good to use as a reference point because it is the only pool that has that artificial coral along the bottom. If I direct your attention down at the end of this walkway here, you'll find our restroom. That is the only restroom in the entire facility, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. And then further in this same area, just past that single canopy, is our center pool. And then straight ahead, you see the bridge. That leads you to our third dolphin pool, the birth and research pool. And then the tan and green cabana just in the back is the entrance to the secret garden. That's where you find the big lions and tigers. We also have a great underwater viewing. And you'll actually be able to see our little baby dolphins. Are you down there? I don't know if you saw the signs inside. We had a very exciting summer. Both of our adult females, Huff and Buff and Duchess, gave birth to healthy little baby boy dolphins this summer. And today, one of our little babies turns 10 months old. So make sure you wish baby K2 a happy month day while you're here. You'll find the babies in this pool, actually, with their mothers and their big sister, Bella. That's Huff and Buff right there, one of the moms. Now, dolphins have excellent eyesight. They also have really good hearing, but their ears are designed to pick up sounds through the water. So while you're poolside, you do get very close to the animals. What a lot of people do is that we make sounds to get their attention. Their ears pick up sound through the water, so they really can't hear us too well from above, above the pool, but they have excellent eyesight. Oftentimes, the more animated you are, give them big friendly waves. You can show them your little latest dance moves. They'll come over and check it out because they're naturally very curious and inquisitive animals anyway. And then, now also, when I do invite you poolside, you're invited to have a seat right on the pool walls. But we do ask that arms and legs, hands and feet always stay on the people's side, so the outside of the pool walls at all times, for the safety of our dolphins. If you have anything you want to set down, even if it is just for a moment, please always take the time to secure the items on the ground by your feet and avoid setting anything directly on the pool walls. That's because items on the pool wall have a tendency to get accidentally bumped or blown into our pools with their dolphins. If you do see something in the pool, please alert a staff member right away, but avoid reaching over to retrieve the item on your own, and we'll get that for you before the dolphins do. If you're traveling with small children today, just keep a really close watch on the little ones. While they're poolside, the safest view of our dolphins for them is actually going to be with them kneeling on the ground with their elbows resting on the pool walls. We just ask that you never stand, sit, or kneel any small children on top of the pool walls, even if you are holding on to them, and that is for their safety. Now you may have noticed that you didn't see any signs that have listed um, showtimes with the dolphins. The simple answer is because we do not have any dolphin shows. That's right, we have no shows. We're a facility that's based on education and research. So while you're here, you're going to see the wonderful exhibits of dolphins being dolphins. Now our trainers do come out to feed and work with them throughout the day. We call these interactions or training sessions. Key thing to remember that there's no set schedule or choreography to these. It really all is up to what the dolphins feel like doing at the time. And of course, the trainers feed them part of their daily diet of fish and squid. Now, we do announce these interactions on the microphones as they begin, but you do just want to keep your eyes out for a group of trainers in wetsuits to come poolside as an indicator one of these is about to, get, about to begin. Also, trainers do work with all of our dolphins in all of our dolphin pools. Now, if you did bring any snacks and drinks with you today, that's fine. I do ask that you don't share with any of our animals, even the really cute ones that big, because they all do, except for the cats. So, please just don't feed anything. Also, for the safety of our animals, though, if you do have any disposable lids, straws, bottle caps, or glass containers, they're not allowed inside, as well as balloons, because these are very dangerous for the dolphins. And you're free to take as many pictures and video as you like. Keep in mind, this is salt water, and the dolphins can splash, sometimes very unexpectedly. And with that, you are free to enter and explore at your own pace. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you again for choosing to spend part of your morning with us here at Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden and the Dolphin Habitat here at the Mirage. And you can exit the tiers on either side or by taking the ramp, it'll lead you all the way down. Hi. Our little baby is Miramar. Miramar is eight months old. He was born on the window. And Robert, they're very young. Everything is so pretty good. Hello. Anything you want to set down, just always set the items on the ground by your feet.
Already one of the most elaborate and technically advanced in the world. The famous Mirage Aquarium recently underwent a transformation. New brighter artificial corals evoke the exotic beauty of such tropical locales as Australia's Great Barrier Reef. While the addition of hundreds of new sea creatures provides a rare glimpse into the aquatic wonders of our planet. Top aquarium design experts, noted for their work at such distinguished facilities as California's Monterey Bay Aquarium and the National Aquarium in Baltimore, Maryland, collaborated with the Ramage to enhance the display. Nearly 1,000 marine life forms now comprise a thriving undersea community housed within the 20,000 gallon display behind the front desk. We hope you have enjoyed this tour of sorts. Or maybe it started with one head of sardines. Oh, sardines. That's what I'm going to do. Was he able to score a free fish? Hey, look at this dolphin smile. Yeah, it's illegal. No one cares. I got a monkey on my back. I can show him to be a little teaser. He's out of his own stop. He's out of his own stop. He's out of his own stop. I'm ashamed of him. Look, I know that I can take this if people would just stop me. Welcome to Secret and Boy's Secret Garden and Dolphin Habitat at the Mirage. The Mirage is home to several animal habitats. These important ambassadors help bring attention to their species as a whole. And while they provide great enjoyment for guests, their habitats also serve as an educational center for Las Vegas visitors as well as those in the community. Through the secret garden and dolphin habitat, the Mirage seeks to increase public awareness of the plight of all endangered animals and to foster dialogue about the world together. Several rare animals reside within the secret garden. The royal white tigers of Nevada, the white lions of Timbavati, heterozygous Bengal tigers possessing both tawny and white genes. Several leopards, including the solid black and spotted color variation. Each day, thousands of guests visit the secret garden at Paradise. The Mirage Horticulture Department diligently tends to the plants and flowers, maintaining their health and ensuring they remain vibrant examples of their species. Specialists from around the world were asked to lend their expertise and ideas in order to create a program. This program provides guests with the unforgettable opportunity to work side by side with animal experts in the daily care of the opportunity to visit the secret garden and dolphin habitat and learn about these extraordinary animals. Each year, the program allows them to have the opportunity to learn about the great diversity of life that exists on this earth by seeing and experiencing it firsthand. For many Nevada's blue children, their encounter with our dolphins in the garage is their kind of strong focus on research. We've developed strong relationships with universities across the country, including the University of Texas A&M, University of California Davis, and University of Nevada Las Vegas. Several areas of our research provide new and innovative solutions to complex problems facing our animals and other species. Areas such as assisted reproduction, protecting and monitoring reproductive cycles, and communication. <laughs> 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 <laughs>